Hello, everyone, and welcome to MathFix. Today, we have a good cubic equation to solve. And before we get started, go all the way, find the subscription button and click on it. I'm making a lot of videos like this. Is it possible for x to be a negative value? If x is negative, x cubed will be negative. This would also be negative. And the sum of them will also be negative, not 520. OK. So x will definitely be larger than 0. We already know that. Now let's just try our luck. We either find x or at least arrange for the value of x. If x is 7, this will be 350. If x is 8, 512 plus 8, 520. So this is actually the solution to the question, OK? Does that mean the equation is and the solution is over? No, because there might be two more solutions that we don't know. So uh, I'm going to take this 520 to the left. Now we're going to use this x equals 8 to our advantage because this equation will be x minus a multiplied by something, OK? To find this equation, we need to divide this by this, OK? Now let's go and do that. I'm going to put a line here. We need to get rid of this x cubed. To do that, I'm going to write, OK, x squared, multiplying it by this, and then multiplying it by the other one. It would be negative 8x squared. OK, remember, we are going to subtract these two. These two will be canceled. OK, and negative negative 8x squared will be positive 8x squared. OK, to get rid of this, I'm going to write positive 8x. Why? Because this multiplied by x will create the same thing. And now these two together will create negative 64x, we're going to subtract. When we subtract, these two will be gone. Negative, negative will be positive. We'll have 64x. Remember, we didn't use these two. I'm going to use them now. Plus x minus 520, OK, which will be uh, 65x minus 520. OK, so uh, the final thing would be positive 65. And then the same thing will be created here. Uh, minus 65x minus 520. OK, this will be 0 again. This looks ugly. OK. So we were only looking for this, and now we have it. So I'm going to write this as x minus 8. We have two possibilities. Maybe the first one is zero, maybe the second one is zero. If the first one is zero, of course we get x equals eight. We already know this. How about this? Is this possible to be zero? Well, it would be, uh, let's just write it here. This is a is going to be one. B, this is eight. B is going to be eight. C will be 65, okay? And now let's see, we know that the two roots will become negative b plus minus square root of b squared 
minus 4ac divided by 2a. Okay, now let's apply this. Minus b will be negative 8. Positive, negative. B squared will be 64. Minus 4ac will be 260. Divided by 2. Okay. So if I want to simplify this, uh, it will be, again, what is 64 minus this 196, okay? It will be negative eight. And I'm going to write it as square root of 196 multiplied by a square of negative one divided by two. Okay, this is negative one. Okay, we're going to write this as i because it's the complex number. Okay, and this will be 14. Okay, so the final answer would be this, negative four, positive negative seven i, okay? So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please again go, you know what to do. Uh, that's enough for today.